Hi friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be my Dark Romance Readathon vlog. And if you aren't here for the Dark Romance Readathon, then just enjoy some Dark Romance reads. But I don't know how particularly interesting this vlog is going to be. I just got done filming a very extensive vlog, so my video chops might not be up to it. But I am pretty excited to read some Dark Romance. I just finished reading a lot of historical romance for aforementioned vlog, so I need some darkness. Um, there's two things that I am prioritizing this weekend. It is Dark Mafia Prince. That is the group book for the readathon. It meets all of the pumps on the bingo board. And then I also need to read Sicko by Emma Jones. This is for the Dark Maidens book club that is having the live show on Saturday night. So other than that, I am interested in reading Deviant King. This is a bully romance. I also want to read Lords of Pain, which I think is another bully romance. And I'm kind of in that bully romance feeling. I've had a lot of very sweet romances, low angst romances recently, and I'm ready to ramp it up. So those are going to be my reading priorities for the week. And I hope if you are participating that you enjoy your reads. Um, and we will talk again when I am into something. I'm 77 pages into Mafia Prince. I'm just gonna call it Mafia Prince. And they have kidnapped her. They've stolen her from her dad because they think that he has the whereabouts of their lost brother. And so they've kidnapped her and him, hoping that if they, you know, take her, that her father will tell them where their lost brother is. And so there's a scene where she's with the hero in the hotel room and he's like okay well we gotta cut your finger off to like show it to your dad to like you know get him scared about losing you and then he pushes her down on the ground and he's like oh i like the way she looks and then he tells her that if she wants to keep her finger she give she should give him a bj as a way to like push her how is the father gonna know that she blew you like how is that gonna like push him to do how okay <laughs> i'm just dumb as shit he recorded it but also like our heroine's dumb as shit too so i guess we're in the same boat finished Dark Mafia Prince and I very much enjoyed this. I ended up giving it three stars but it was just super fun and when I went in I didn't really know what to expect because I didn't really know anything about this book before going in. I just picked it up because it was the group book and this is basically about a girl who in the beginning of the book she is like a mafia princess. Her father is the capo of this group group or whatever and in the beginning of the book she gets kidnapped by these men and two of them are part of a family like a mafia family that she previously believed were dead and they were really good friends with her family like his family was really good friends with her family and she was told when she was like nine that his family got slaughtered by a rival gang and that her father um you know, avenge their murder and then took over their family or whatever. But he has come back to find his lost brother. Him and the brother that are in this book got like separated and then their other brother got put in an adoption agency and so they are looking for him. And they kidnapped the heroine and the hero is like best was best friends with the heroine back when they were young. And so they have, like, this connection formed between them. Um, and so he originally kidnaps her and is going to use her against her father. But he, like, still feels this connection to her. And it's just very fun and silly. And I really, really enjoyed it. There were several times where I was, like, laughing and smiling because it was so funny. Um, so it was just, like, a good, enjoyable read. The heroine was a little too dumb to like be a person <laughs> but I think you kind of expect that a little bit in these mafia stories the heroines are always a little dumb and then she was magically super smart whenever 
it suited the plot but you know um so altogether i really enjoyed it three stars and then i also started deviant king um this is one of the high school bullies on my list and this is about a girl who goes to this like elite school it's literally called like elite kings or something like that in the beginning of the book she befriends someone who is like an outcast and all of the people that have been bullying this girl now start bullying her we skip forward two years after the prologue and they're now seniors and we're getting some bullying right off the bat i'm not very far in um but i'm enjoying it thus far like i said i'm only 10 percent of the way through We'll see if it becomes too much or just like the perfect amount, but I have high hopes. I've heard really good things about this one, but I'm hoping to finish this one tonight and then start Sicko tomorrow and finish it before the live show, but that is the plan. I hope uh, Deviant King is, is everything that I'm expecting it to be, but I'll let you know. I just want you to know that this girl's favorite band is Coldplay, and if that's not a reason to bully her, I don't know what is. Hi friends, it is now Monday, the last day of this readathon. I did not film anything over the weekend. To be honest, I just wasn't really like feeling it. I just didn't really want to film, so I just like allowed myself to not want to film. But I did finish two books um, during that time. I finished Sicko. This is an adopted brother romance. In the beginning of the book, the heroine gets adopted by the hero's family when they're like when she's like a baby and then we skip forward to when she is 15 he's like three years older and then something separates them skip forward when they're in their 20s and she is now in college and he is part of a motorcycle gang and he disappeared when she was 15 he's now back um to figure something out and she is just there's just a lot going on with this story and i ended up giving it two stars i really really didn't like it and like it was so exhausting to read that i just wanted it to be over like there's so many different plot lines going in and in the beginning the author's note says something along the lines of like this is a really heavy book no actual trigger warnings by the way this is just a really heavy book and if you're a dark romance reader then you'll be prepared or something like that like it didn't tell you anything and it's so fucking much like so much trauma just poured on and it's so exhausting okay i didn't do like a super good job here of ex like getting my point across but she has the abandonment issues she is involved in a sexually abusive relationship there is torture porn there is torture there is um lots of rape there is death, kidnapping, lots of torture. <laughs> like, I just, there is so much here. Uh, just so, so much trauma. Like, every trauma you could possibly imagine is here. There's child sexual abuse. There's just a lot. <laughs> it's so much. It's so much. And it just is, like, I don't know any other way to describe it, except if you've read those books where you're just exhausted and you don't want to read it anymore, that's how I felt. Like, getting to the end was a, really a struggle, and I just didn't, I didn't really like it. And then I also finished Deviant King, and this is a high school bully, and it's about a girl who goes to this England school, senior year of high school, and he's now decided that he doesn't just hate her and want everybody to bully her, he's, like, infatuated with her and, like, wants to have sex with her and, you know, be with her. And so I gave this three stars. As far as bully romances go, like this is not my favorite. I think it is good angst and it has like all of the good, like stereotypical bully romance goodness, but I'm just looking for more spice, I guess. Like I've read so many bully romances up to this point that just do it better than this did. This is just like your, I guess, original bully romance and it just didn't really have what I was looking for. It just wasn't really that interesting. Other than that, I'm gonna try to finish Crow. I was gonna read Lord Lords of Pain, but I just don't really feel like reading that level of just like 
angst right now. I'm probably gonna go back to historical romance after this or I'm gonna switch up to fantasy because I'm just kind of tired of like this unnecessary just Blech. yeah. So I'm gonna try to finish Crow. This is a mafia romance. I need to get it done by today for it to count for the bingo. I have bingo at this point because I read um, Dark Mafia Prince. It's like a mafia romance and I think the heroine is on the hunt for her missing sister or something and the hero is part of the Italian mafia, I think. Um, so I'm gonna try to finish that. I do have some things that I need to do around the house, like I'm off today, but I do need to clean and stuff like that. So it'll be interesting to see how much I get in. I only got like 5% in last night. Like last night when I, after I finished Deviant King yesterday morning, I just didn't read for the entirety of the day. I just was not, I just wasn't feeling it. And yeah, that's kind of where I'm at right now. We'll see if I even read Crow. Like my body is telling me that I need to just like take a break and switch genres or switch subgenres and not stress myself like I know that at the beginning of the vlog I was like you know I just read a bunch of historical so I was, I was ready for some dark romance but these dark romances that I read were just not it so I'm a little put off I'm going to see how far I can get into crow I might bring you along while I'm cleaning I might not who knows and then we'll talk we'll wrap it up at the end of the day when I've maybe read something yeah, I don't know. Practice. but even she can't hide the small glint of pride in her eyes how far I've come the last six months have been entirely dedicated to this. So I finished the last book for this readathon and we're gonna talk about it while I make a cake. So I finished Crow. This is the mafia romance that I was talking about and it is Irish mafia. And the heroine in the beginning of the book trying to find this, she like grew up in a foster home because her father was part of the Irish mafia. He was a fighter and he ended up getting killed. Um, like the Russian mafia had him killed. So she ends up in foster care and her friend goes goes missing. And so she decides because the cops won't help her that she is going to infiltrate the Irish mafia who is, you know, aligned with the Russian mafia to get some answers. So she fights in like an underground fight to get the attention of one of the Irish mafia guys. Then she shows up at the hero's club to become a dancer. And so he sees her and he's like interested in her or whatever. And then he gets someone, he's like working. I don't know if it's like with an undercover person who's just like a corrupt because they, they think they have a mole. And so he's doing his own investigations and this guy, he asks the guy to look into her and finds out like who she is and all that. So she shows up at his club and he is the one that like auditions her to be a dancer or whatever. And he doesn't trust her. And so he's like, I don't really want you to, you know, be part of, I don't trust you. I don't want you to audition. So he like takes it upon himself, but she's 
good and so he's like very attracted to her and so she like gives him this dance she gives him like lap dance and they have this like very intense moment so then he tells her okay you can be an an appetizer so basically you don't get to take your clothes off or anything and then of course they start having like a sexual relationship and it's a slow-ish burn i would say um but i ended up giving it four stars i will say like the plot is non-existent like her whole attempt to become figure out you know infiltrate the mafia and figure out what is happening doesn't really like go anywhere she kind of gets put under surveillance while they're like banging and stuff but so that like keeps her from being able to investigate but like there's no real effort it's kind of just like once they start hooking up they're just smashing and that's pretty much it i liked it i thought it was fun like i surprisingly enjoyed myself i did listen to the audiobook but yeah i i, I enjoyed myself despite it not necessarily being things that I would generally enjoy. I don't usually like stories with early hookups and I don't usually like nothing going on. Like I don't usually like contained stories where like the heroine's just kind of there. She's not really doing anything, especially if the idea is that she's trying to figure something out, right? I don't usually like that, uh, but I enjoyed myself. Like I thought it was a good read. I by no means think that like these are revolutionary characters. And I don't super, I didn't super love either of them. I think Crow is just kind of your stereotypical, like, touch her and you die hero. Um, but I did enjoy myself. And I think just the fact that my last two reads have been so bad is, like, what made it more enjoyable for me. And, yeah, I mean, four stars. I'll probably continue the series at some point because I am interested in some of the characters in the Irish mob or some of their friends. So I, I likely will uh, continue at some point with their books. But that is the last read for the readathon. It wasn't my most successful readathon. I'm a little sad that I only liked two of the four that I read. I didn't dislike Deviant King, but it just wasn't like everything that I was hoping it would be. So let me know down in the comments if you participated in the readathon, what you thought, what you read. Did you read the group book? Did you enjoy it? Thank you so much for participating. If you did, um, if you are just here for some dark romance reads, then let me know your thoughts on anything that I talked about in the video. Other than that, please consider subscribing if you haven't already. Uh, leave a knife emoji down in the comments if you don't have anything to say. Other than that, thanks so much for watching and I will catch you guys in my next one.